war in the Persian Gulf, the current war in the Persian Gulf. This is, uh, this is the first song I wrote about wars in the Persian Gulf. So, about the last one or the current one? It was a, well, I'm not really sure where the last one, like, what, what do you have in mind? <laughs> You're talking about the current one, right? Well, well it's not the war between Iraq and, and Iran or Iraq no. and Kurds in the 80s. It's, um, it's the one about uh, my 91-ish, uh, a few weeks in 91. <laughs> So that, that night I was in this greasy spoon of a diner that used to be the depot in Columbia, South Carolina, and they moved the train tracks to the other side of the road. This is all just a, by way of explanation of some more obscure lines in the song, but this is um, this a song I wrote on the evening that the Persian Gulf War <laughs> ended. I mean, it didn't end. That's, that's <laughs> and the song's called Waiting for the War to End, and I'm thinking I, I need to get this out on radio soon because eventually this war's going to end and then it'll be too late. <laughs> Maybe Norwegian radio, but I don't know. You, you have contacts on that. As we walked into the diner, an old man asked us with a smile if we were waiting for the train to come. I looked back out the doorway, turning, I replied, No, sir, can you see the railroad tracks are gone? He laughed, agreed, we walked on in sat up on the stools, looked at the plastic menus on the wall. The war would end at midnight according to the rules, but the waitress didn't know or care at all. And the drunk man playing poker on the video machine Spilled his quarters to the time-scarred checkered floor. Johnny ordered breakfast. A policeman shuffled in. And we drank coffee as we waited for the war to end. It's the first war I remember, the only one I'd ever seen. If only from 10,000 miles away. Still it hurt to see us happier that we killed the other men. But I knew the other side was just the same. And a big band sound from years before burst through the radio. And Marilyn Monroe hung on the door And asked me if another man had sat here years ago Drinking coffee waiting for another war To end And the seaboard diners, customers Would talk the night away as the mortar men shot shells across the sky. Midnight came and left us, but nothing seemed to change. And I knew that war would still be part of life.
there a time of peace and comfort, a rest for those who strive against the powers that fight against the soul? And though a battle scars the hearts that struggle for a peace inside, seems we do not have the means to meet the goal. But I knew a peace once given to a child who gave himself to a God surpassing fear and death and pain. And as we walked out of the diner, I heard what the old man said and realized that I had been waiting for my train. 